morning my name is father raya pakasi from the village called ekattupadi vellur india i'm going to talk about john muir a nature writer my favorite naturalist <coughs> i have read so many of his writings they express nature's beauty they express the uh, need to admit the importance of the biological wealth not the material wealth not the cultural wealth biological wealth john muir wrote about redwood forest yosemite national park and uh, he visited them i mean so many places nobody no human has ever put a step such a place as john muir visited there are so many beautiful places only john muir has visited because they are wilderness wilderness is inhospitable for humans for other life birds and other animals they can creep in the wilderness so they are so smart but humans no because wilderness exposes a barrier it may be a big mountain peak maybe a thick bushes thick forest thorny bushes acacia trees tough terrain littered with stones and uh, spikes so all these things expose a barrier for human intrusion and uh, wilderness is very raw in the stays in the original state as god created it so that is wilderness where humans have never stepped in even garden of eden can never be a wilderness because humans have stepped in and then contaminated the beauty of wilderness but wilderness is raw away from human eyes praying eyes so that is wilderness so such kind of place as john muir had been there and then he wrote on the paper about the reality of those places so it's brilliant writing and actually i'm going to read a quote for you uh from his writing called on national parks subtitle on going to the wilderness it's a beautiful experience uh, today many people realize human civilization is boring human civilization ran out of ideas the same kind of building the same kind of roads the same kind of cell phones the same kind of cars television boring stuff even the airplanes jet engines jets are already 40 50 years old i think humans have ran out of ideas there's no new invention is coming on the market we are exhausted all those creative creativity so i think today humans are going back to a place where it all started our evolution started wilderness they want to go to mountain they want to go to forest they want to go on an animal safari they want to go for amusement parks they want to visit zoos they want to see planetoriums rainforest they want to see gorillas chimpanzees bonobos orangutans siamangs gibbons racist monkeys himalayan macaque what not peacock see humans are really <laughs> unconsciously tired of seeing 7 billion human species 7 billion persons everywhere this planet is littered with waste that is humans everywhere we have never 
obeyed the laws of mother nature so we become hoodlums we become rebels outlaws 7 billion outlaws so we are paying the price for it big price for it yeah what goes around comes around isn't it what goes around comes around what you sow you shall reap so the bible says so i think we have become victims of our own activity human activity is so dangerous that we are facing our own extinction many scientists call it a sixth mass extinction so that's the reason why humans they feel premonition in their genes they want to escape from the human society and go to mountains go to forest and go to the natural world it is the way we adapt again the adaptation comes in to play we focus on adapting that is what our innate feeling it is inherent in our genes we want to adapt escape from the range so that's why people go to nature so such experience is beautiful that's what john muir writes and also it is necessary because that is our real home it is not the 7000 square feet mansion or a palace or a big flat is my home no those are all artificial our real home is our wilderness that's why we our feet keep on uh leaning towards mountains and deserts and forest actually they give us new spirit they invigorate us and we become resilient because this place is a fountain of life upwelling all the time jesus talks about i'll give you life and i give my water this water will never go dry it will be spring of life so wilderness is a spring of life where exhausted beings can go and recharge their batteries it's a charging station it's a fueling station wilderness so where is wilderness anyway unfortunately humans have laid waste in every ecosystem that is sad but still i would say 12% of our earth surface is pristine away from praying human eyes thank god 12% of our planet earth remains as raw wilderness as god himself created there are places some in the himalayas in alps in the andean mountains in amazon's jungle in congo jungle and in india western ghats there are few places they are pristine they are in the original format i think that is the heritage of the universe that is irreplaceable heritage isn't it so anyway let me stop here and read about john muir's uh, quote title on going to the wilderness i quote the tendency nowadays to wander in wilderness is delightful to see thousands of tired over civilized people are beginning to find out that going to the mountains is going home that wilderness is a necessary and that mountain parks and reservations are useful not only as fountains of timber 
and irrigating rivers, but as fountains of life. John, we are simply telling, I mean, natural world has in store for us a lot of instrumental value. But John Muir is telling, natural world uh, involves not only instrumental value, but also intrinsic value, the items, the created things. All of them have an intrinsic value. The wilderness is about intrinsic value of life. Our human civilization is instrumental value of life. So John Muir is simply telling, see the natural world for its beauty, for its intrinsic nature. Uh, Homo sapiens, when are we going to learn about this approach of looking the natural world for its intrinsic purpose. Our human highs and our human habits and lifestyle are always smoldered around seeing things as instrumental value. When are we going to see for its intrinsic value? So that is the new age. That is our new trial. That is our new trajectory. That is our new path. So I, thank, I thank John Muir for the beautiful writing. Please go Google, type John Muir and his writings and you will get tons and tons of them. And read them and enjoy them and share with the friends. Bye.